What up, everybody? Uh, we're back here for game two with Snap Cap Keeps, brought to you by Team Card Hoarder. Uh, this hand's pretty reasonable. Got to turn one ramp spell, turn two ramp spell, and uh, a win condition. So hopefully he goes dead before he deads us. We're going to keep this hand for sure. For sure. <clears throat> I think the only thing that could make this hand better would be a prismatic omen because it would you know count as like two ramp spells and x amount of damage oh more than two ramp spells it'd be it'd be like four ramp spells so on turn six or what would that be turn four turn four we could like you know 50 form or whatever again uh <coughs> so i guess it's negligible, but I suppose since we don't want to draw any more lands, we should fetch wooded foothills and get a forest. Most of the time, it's not really worth it, especially in the blind, because your opponent could be playing burn or some aggressive strategy, and like, just play your stomping ground or fetch a forest or whatever, you know? Uh, but since I know he's on storm, um, we're gonna we're gonna get basic forest. Because it doesn't matter in this matchup. At least, I hope not. I hope he doesn't have, like, main deck Blood Moons. That'd be savage. Ask him to sit across from me on my show, Snapcap Keeps, and then he just plays main deck Blood Moon Storm. That would be absurd. That'd be, like, the most savage thing anyone has ever done. God, I hope he's not doing that. We got this, like, dead scapeshift card that doesn't do anything. This Kessig Wolf Run, aka Mountain. Kessig Wolf Run is a sweet addition to this deck, too. I think you should play an Ink Moth Nexus, too. Just go back to like 2013 standard. It's like Primeval Titan. Ink Moth Nexus, Kessig Wolf Run. Ooh, alright. Uh, that was actually a very good draw. Because now we can explore and uh, search. Yeah, man. We can do Spell Snare Me. Gross. Gross. <gasps> we did it, lads. In 2016, we did it. So, as long as he doesn't go turn two Blood Moon. All right, wh what's up? What's up with this? Um, so, we're going to play our land regardless this turn. We're going to have three. That's going to untap before. Uh, we're only going to have... So, if we hold it... We're gonna have six on five or six on four. Uh, if we suspend it now, next turn, I guess it doesn't actually matter, does it? Because next turn we're gonna do nothing anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna suspend it. Let's spend. Play land already, I suppose. Yeah. Play that stomping ground untapped. Took two for no reason. I mean, there's a reason. There was definitely a reason. Dude, don't ritual out of Blood Moon. Don't do it. Alright. Lightning Bolt. Because this is bad for us. Lightning Bolt! What's happening? Always yield. I thought I always always yield. Uh, this is scary. So that means we could die next turn. This turns all of his rituals into essentially... All of his desperate rituals into essentially two desperate rituals. Because it nets... They're all dark rituals, rather. Because it nets two mana. Lightning Bolt. We're so bad. So bad at this game. I'm just going to cast an Omen, I suppose. Let him know what's about to happen. X is going to give it to him. If you don't know who X is, go look it up. Alright, man, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Or do. Your choice. I would recommend not killing me, though. Just to show you how much damage I can produce to your face. Oh, we're dead. No! Always a turn behind. Well, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, in, in the days of old... Goblin Electromancer was 
the the busted the busted draws out of storm. Oh no. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're dead, friend. All right, we didn't die. I think I don't know what he I don't know what he has up his sleeve. I hope we didn't die. That'd be uh, pretty gross, I guess. Cast that card. And by that card, I mean search. Um, so we can escape shift right now, and all the valid cuts are trigger. Uh, maybe he plays something weird like mana leak or remand. So I'm just going to play. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? I'm just going to play this mountain and then cast escape shift. Oh, right. Prismatic Omen is the worst. Is the worst. Because it makes all your lands uh, rainbow. Hey, we did it. Man, we're so good. Played a bunch of lands and then killed him. All right. I think our lightning bolts are staying in. We're, okay, so at the beginning, in the first match, I said sleek. Be sleek. What's not sleek? Try this colony heart expedition. All right. I think we're getting there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Uh, probably bring in this card, now that we know he has, um, the Goblin. Goblin Electromancer. Goblin Electromancer. Still bring in these chalices, still really good on one. Uh, I think that means we have to cut Lightning Bolts, but that's fine because we have Angers. I think... Also, man, we're at 60 now? Look how clean, how clean and crisp. <coughs> I don't think I want anything else out of this. You could have an argument for Sudden Shock just to have uh, replacements for Lightning Bolts, but that's not, that's not sleek, you know, that's, that's trying to prolong the game. I feel like the game is, okay, so who's, who's favored if the game is going longer. Uh, I assume it's him. I guess it could, there's two sides of that coin. So if it's if the game's going long, like he could have a really bad hand or I could have a really bad hand uh, and vice versa. Like both of us could have pretty good hands. Uh, the difference is if we both have good hands, who's gonna like win faster? And I wanna have the thing that makes him win slower. Um, so I don't think like having a sudden shock for his goblin is a thing. But I like our configuration. Um, you know, this is this combo seems pretty pretty legit, and you know we have some really impactful hateful hate cards if uh, if we draw them. Also, if he draws his blood moons, we're like we're kind of stone cold dead. Ooh, so if we if he has blood moon, uh, we want Baloth, right? Just because something to kill him. I think that means. What would you cut? We could potentially cut Summoner's Pacts because they're not the quickest, but uh, is a Titan going to kill him? Depends on how much damage he does to himself. I'm going to assume that Obstinate Bailoth is not good enough because the 4 life isn't relevant and a 4-4 four four is kind of meh. It's like still a 5 turn clock uh, depending on how much damage he deals. So I'm just going to submit our configuration and see what is good with it. Man, it was so weird yesterday. I was at the gym, and there was a 16-year-old kid there, and he didn't know who Rage Against the Machine was. And I was kind of blown away. Okay, back to magic. Our hand has got a hate card. I guess two hate cards if you count this as hate for empty, but like last game he was going to cast empty and then cast grape shot, so I don't really count that. Uh, we have no ramp spells and a bunch of fat. We are also dead to blood moon. Why isn't there a reclamation sage on my sideboard? That was dumb. That was dumb. 
I think I'm gonna mulligan. I just don't think the sand is good enough. Because, like... So the problem with this hand is... Let's run the draw. How good is Relic? Relic's gotta be great, because of passing flames. Whatever, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna see how strong Relic is in this matchup. It seems really good. Like, I'm keeping the hand solely because we have a Relic. Uh, these other hands could be, like, bananas. Or these other cards in my hand could be bananas, and I would still probably keep... But it's, it's definitely close. Like, the hand's not spectacular by any stretch of the imagination. A secure tri Builder or a Search for Tomorrow could definitely make this hand better. And we have an Anger to stop his early empty. So, I don't know if it's a Keeper, but only time will tell. Only time. Excuse me. Uh, I'm just gonna, depending on what I draw, obviously. Come on, buddy. Ooh, another great card. Possibly one of the worst draws in the deck, besides like a second scape shift. Uh, I'm just gonna get a forest to cast my ramp spells if he goes ritual into uh, blood moon. Also opens up Nature's Claim. There's no reason to get a mountain here. Like even if we get a mountain, we still need to draw a third land for our Anger of the Gods anyway. We're gonna respond by eating a thing, a card out of his graveyard, and we're gonna F6 because we have nothing to do. I guess we could bluff Simeon Spirit Guide uh, Relic for some reason. I could definitely see a line where he, like, rituals Metamorphoses and then plays an Electromancer and goes off, but he already tapped his thing, uh, his island. Alright, so we're, we're punished for getting a forest, because now we can't cast the Anger, uh, which is moderately unfortunate. Moderately unfortunate. Hope that doesn't come back to bite us. I still think it's totally correct, though. We want to make sure we have our forest because of Blood Moon. Uh, sure. Sure, lad. I wish we had... anything. How about that? Like, this game, I wouldn't even care if he has a Blood Moon. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't care. Alright, eat a card, fool. Fulio. It's Coolio's brother. I guess I'm gonna fetch, too. So... We already have our second green source, so we can cast anything on our deck. Might as well get a dual land, uh, in case he doesn't have a Blood Moon. Uh, okay, that was... Mediocre at best, draw. I guess I'll eat this now. I don't know why I would. Yeah. So this doesn't matter. It's all a formality. He just wants to make it to where I don't hit a spell so he has more gas off passing flames. Which, you know, makes sense. But <clears throat> I do think that any, I guess, it doesn't matter. Any time that I would have activated this, he would have sacrificed his fetch land, so... All right, man. Your turn. Hmm. Storm's one of those decks where, like, 
you see that they're drawing a bunch of lands, but you're still scared. Lands are just rituals. Essentially. I mean, not exactly, but you get what I'm saying. Also, it's always like a fetch land, too. Alright, so, uh, Explorer was a pretty good draw. Especially if we hit another... Um, another land next turn, or this turn, so we can play two lands, because... Okay, we didn't, but now we're, we're Blood Moon proof. I like being Blood Moon proof. I'm feeling okay. I don't know what's exactly in his hand. Uh, I assume this is going to be a Gifts Ungiven. And he's going to go B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay, well, I think we're very lucky because he doesn't have a Gifts Ungiven. Because that, that seems to be the card. Every time he's cast a Gifts Ungiven, uh, we've died the, ne the following turn. At least most of the time. <coughs> so let's see what's good with it. Alright, not dead. I kind of want to crack this relic at some point in my life, but I don't know. There's just like no point. What is his hand? Just a bunch of rituals? I assume. Alright, land was good. Land was good. Wish it would have been last turn. But it's all the same. Like I said, I knew this hand was going to be super slow if we, unless we drew runner, runner, ramp spells, but instead we drew uh, reactive spells, which I kind of flooded my deck with, and I didn't have a lot of ramp spells because we cut colony, colony hard expedition. Yeah, he's, he can like cast a Inferno Titan now or Frost Titan. If he goes consecrated Sphinx, I might freak out. I think it's just his relic. I think relic's just like putting in straight work is what's actually happening here. Um, cause he just can't do anything. I think. Alternatively, his hand could just be poop soup. But I don't know. The only way we could find out is by actually looking at his hand, which we do not have uh, the capability of doing. He probably doesn't have crumble. Uh, I think I'm gonna eat one of his one of his cards on my turn now that he doesn't have a fetch land. You got like a thought scour, I suppose, and eat a land there. But yeah, it's just like little risk because we still have um, the activation up, and I wonder if we crack it on my turn. Probably not. I'm like kind of afraid of a counter spell, and. Just like he hasn't done anything, right? What would be ideal is if we draw a land next turn. Because then we can, like, cast Titan and then <clears throat> hold up Relic. Because, like I've stated, I guess we could just cast Scapeshift at that point. But, I think Relic is just, like, winning this game single-handedly. And feels good, man. This is one of the games where... We may have overboarded looking at our hand, but, you know, we're still alive. Just imagine, like, if turn three he would have went, like, I don't know, eight goblins or whatever. Like, we would have had that covered. Um, so maybe it was fine. Maybe it was fine. I guess he's going to put us to the test here. And Past in Flames... I'm okay with this. There's not a lot of meat on those bones, and he's kind of constrained on mana. Like, he only has four mana. Like, what? Did, or now he only has three mana. If he flashes back ritual, like, that doesn't matter. Burning a pass in flames here seems like a reasonable thing to do. 
Uh, yeah. My hand is a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Perhaps I should have got... Man, it's so weird. So, like, in the early game, I want to play around... Okay. In the early game, I really want to play around Blood Moon. But now, like, looking back at the early game, uh, these forests are really hindering my... Um, what is happening? Why is he freaking out? Uh, having these forests really hinders my output of damage with the Valakut, which isn't ideal. So one thing to note is, I don't know if he knows this or if he's just doing things to do things. Casting spells to cast spells, rather. Uh, but all these cards don't have flashback because of Passing Flames. It's only the cards in the graveyard at that point in time that have flashback. So I don't know if he knows that, which I assume he does. But, yeah, they don't have flashback. I think at the end of his turn, I'm going to crack Relic. Just in the hopes of drawing a land uh, to kill him with Scape Shift. Uh, if I don't draw a land, that could be really, really bad. But I could definitely see next turn he just value past some flames again. And sooner or later he might find an Echoing Truth or, you know, Ancient Grudge. I assume this is what this is for. Uh, that and Noxious Revival. Perhaps it's a green land to cast Manamorphos too. Oh, I see. For how much? Eight? Eight damage. Okay. This, this is not scary. These four cards left in hand. I guess the only thing it could be is a Gifts. If he Gifts, what could he get? Say he has a land and Gifts, and then, like, I don't know, two blanks or whatever. He could start the chain. So he goes... I guess he doesn't even land. He could just go Gifts and start the chain. Of, like, Rituals and maybe a Pass in Flames. Because Gifts is essentially a draw for with Pass in Flames. Uh, I'm def at, regardless, I'm definitely cracking this relic uh, at the end of his turn to increase the chances of me drawing a land. Because if I draw a land, I can deal him 18 points of damage with my scape shift. We drew a land. We're so good. Wait. Are we so good? Yeah, we're so good. Uh, I was thinking, since we drew the other Valakut, it would be bad, but it ain't that bad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We sacrifice 6 lands, keep a Valakut, get 6 mountains. Um... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right. Sacrifice these six. The six come into play, 18 him. All right, we got a match. Uh, I think solely on the, the back of Relic. I think that card is super powerful, and maybe we keep the hands that are less than optimal uh, and have some weird cards in them, like Anger and like slow cards like Summoner's Pact and Titan, uh, just on the back of Relic. That's pretty interesting, though. All right.